Should you clean your solar panels? Hi, I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group. We are getting this question a lot recently, and it may have something to do with this letter that's going out to Southwest Florida residents. This is the company from Sarasota that has sent out a mailer. Um, apparently they pulled permit information and this is going out to all solar panel owners. And they are touting the five reasons why solar panels need cleaning. And I'll tell you the answer, they don't need cleaning with an asterisk, and I'll get to that at the end. What this company is saying is that they will improve the efficiency of your solar panels and that they're gonna increase the durability, I don't know what that means, improve your ROI, improve the aesthetic appeal, and they tell you that rainwater just won't do it. They use some scare tactics in here and they try and get you to clean your solar panels to um, improve your investment and make sure your system lasts. The reality is rainwater does do an adequate job in most cases of cleaning off your solar panels. And the most important thing here is improve your ROI. So. The idea here is you create a cleaner solar panel and they make more power and you save more money on your electric bill. Well, naturally that would be the case, but by how much? I called the company and they charge $325 to come out and clean your panels if you have roughly a 10 kilowatt system. Um, and I did some math. The uh, 10 kilowatt system is gonna produce about $2,100 worth of utility electricity a year here in Southwest Florida and they don't really say how much energy they're going to uh, create extra by cleaning your solar panels but my math says you'd have to create about 15 percent extra to cover that 325 dollars bill well is that realistic are you going to get a 15 percent bump in performance the answer is almost definitely no but let's just say for argument's sake that you did get a 15 or even a 20 percent increase in performance on day one uh, they tell you to do it every year, and over that span of a year, that benefit of cleaning the panels is going to go down, 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 down until you're at zero. So the average improvement, you know, even if it started at 20%, it's going to be less than 10% probably. And that's a negative ROI. You're never going to recover $325 worth of cleaning in increased performance. It's just not going to happen. So what do the manufacturers say? If you look at most solar panel manufacturers instruction manuals, they will say you can clean the panels, but you only need to do it when it's necessary. And is it necessary? How do you determine that? Well, I reached out to a colleague of mine recently. He does solar panel cleaning and he did send me some pictures and uh, I'll show them here. There are some circumstances where you can have very heavily caked on uh, debris. Usually it's organic matter something like that. And in those cases, you can get a dramatic increase in performance. However, cleaning the panels every year, every six months, certainly is not going to be worthwhile. I would say maybe every two or three years in a situation like that. And this is a situation where you have, you know, a flat roof where the rainwater doesn't really sheet off of the panels. Or you might have a ground rack where the weed whacker is throwing organic debris on, on the panels every time. Um, so there are there are some cases where it might be useful and that's the asterisk i mentioned earlier but the vast majority of you do not need to clean your solar panels this company goes on to say that they are licensed and properly insured well i couldn't find any license on the dbpr website i i don't think they're a contractor they, they don't they're certainly not a solar contractor they may have a local business license or something like that, and they, they might have liability insurance and workers' comp and all that. But if you're going to hire someone to clean your solar panels, hire a solar contractor that, that knows what they're doing. They work around solar panels all the time. There are certain aspects where you, know, you don't want to shock the solar panels with cold water on a hot day, for example. Um, and there may be other issues, like there could be wire management issues that need to be addressed um, that you would want to cover, do that before you clean the panels. Um, there may be a whole host of other things that are found during the cleaning that the, a real solar contractor can address right there on the spot. So, um, you know, I don't think anybody should be hiring a, a company that simply does solar panel cleaning. I mean, they might be able to do it efficiently, but there is certainly no ROI from, from this company, from what I can tell. They do offer a $50 one-time, uh, first-time 
buyer's discount, but even at $275, you're not gonna recover that money in terms of expert production. So just steer clear, take this uh, mailer and, and throw it in the garbage. And if you have any questions about solar panel maintenance and uh, want a professional's advice, give us a call, we're happy to help. Again, I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group and thanks for watching.